Hello, today we're at Thorpe Park Resort to finally experience Fright Nights. It's our first ever time at Fright Nights and I must say, you probably have guessed that I'm talking to you now from the very end of the day, so Fright Nights for us has already happened, so let's take a look at what we did. So, one of five mazes here. Allegedly, this is the best maze at the resort. Yeah, yeah that's right. And yeah, this is a good run on do or die. All right, so, initial thoughts. I thought it was quite good. There's quite a few actors in here, which I was quite happy about. Chainsaw Guy at the end, as you saw in some of the clips, was uh, going for it, which is pretty good. The sets in there are quite nice as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've made a lot of improvements as well since the start of the And Especially in lighting. Um, and there's a lot more actors in there, I think. And it's quite long as well. I like how long that was. Yeah. And um, some of the paths you go down are a bit unique. Ball tunnel, some of the maze, stroke mazy bits. Good start. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far. Yeah, we were the first group in, which is pretty cool. So that's one maze down. We've got to spend the next seven hours or so <laughs> trying to get all the, all the others. Uh, so let's go. Next up was Living Nightmare, the Walking Dead style maze. There was a pre-show, which was a good start, you know, the, the set design of the pre-show was alright. Um, but the kind of, as you got further into the maze, there was less and less in terms of sets. There was one cool bit in the middle with a nice bus, like that. I did Living Nightmare last time I came, which was about a month ago, and today was pretty atrocious. It was not running very well, there was a lot of dead spots, no actors, and even when there were actors it was a bit rubbish. Not good. We tried to stay behind, me, Harry and Fenton, we tried to stay behind, and we literally, we got a guy behind, and it just, they, we caught up with the group in a part of the maze like two seconds later. The maze doesn't have a story, there's no real reason for it to exist, and when you're doing scare mazes you kind of want some immersion in that regard. Um, so it wasn't quite as good as Creek Freak Massacre, but it was, it was something. Hey guys, it's me Coaster, but we're doing Idle Walk. Not a good idea, it's I'm doing cold. It just, uh, you know. He has clothes to change back into. I'm, I'm taking off my hoodie and I have nothing else. James, I'm actually prepared. I'm the only one that's actually prepared for this. What do you See, I ride about... Absolutely horrid. I ride Valhalla with this exact setup all the time. Alright, then off you go. Alright. Right. I have brain freeze, I have hypothermia, I am shaking. I'm, I'm pretty dry, like I've got a wet bottom, everything else is bone dry. There I call go. that a success. I'm not doing too bad on the uh, the old moisture front. He fared surprisingly <laughs> yeah. well considering he rode it in shorts. <laughs> which is the maze that only opens at dusk. And uh, I wasn't, didn't really have high hopes for Blair Witch, but to be honest, I'm quite impressed. The set design was cool. You were going through the woods in a nice windy pathway, um, and there were some interesting aspects to it. The only thing for me is I would have loved to see more actors inside of the maze itself. The actors that were there were good, but they were quite spread out, so more of them would have been good, but that's three of the four mazes done. And final maze of the night was Platform 15 all about a train themed haunted experience and this one again uh, didn't really have much going into it I'd heard stuff about a bit there being a cool train heard stuff about fire effects and yeah all of it was there as soon as we saw the impressive train set uh, piece it was very cool I was very impressed with that loved the flame aspects loved that loved the pre-show as well with the guy talking as you walk down great stuff um, but in terms of design a large portion of the maze took place in a tunnel and the tunnel was a bit bare there just wasn't much going on inside of that so that aspect wasn't as good and, and i would have loved to see more actors 
throughout some of the parts. It was a bit bare in that sense. So we got on four of the five scare mazes here. The only one we didn't do was the other Walking Dead maze, Do or Die. But I think four out of five for a, such a busy day was pretty good. We got on some night rides as well. We did Stealth at Night, Back Row, which was awesome. Love that, it's really cold in the dark. And then a personal favorite of mine, Saw the Ride. Again, night ride on that, fantastic stuff. So we did a lot more than I expected to do here at Thought Park, which I'm pretty impressed with. The maces, some of them are really good and really strong. Some of them were a bit lackluster, and some of them were in between where they needed some more work. But Creek Freak Massacre was fantastic. Really loved that maze, and if we had more time here, I would have loved to try it again. But there's always next year, and I'm definitely sure that we'll be here next year to try out all of the mazes next time. Hopefully earlier on in the season so they're not as busy. But uh, I've really enjoyed my time here. Thanks to everyone who came out to hang out with us. We had such a big group and it was awesome to see everyone. Sorry this video has been a bit hit or miss with the recordings, as you can imagine. We were trying to cram in a lot in such a short day when all the rides were so busy. So we didn't really get to film too much. But hopefully it was good anyway. Thank you for watching and we'll see you all next time.